talk to you about my experience in summer music festivals. Don't think I'm very experienced in this field because I've only been into three different festivals, but each of them has been full of anecdotes. So the first one was held in the Mediterranean coast of Spain, and apart from the four nights of concerts, there were also alternative events such as art exhibitions or live performances, and this one used to take place in the beach. And I remember one afternoon when we were sleeping on the beach, since it was impossible for us to even take a nap in the tent after 8 in the morning, it was terribly hot. So that afternoon, suddenly a huge block of ice appeared beside us, and then we realized that it was part of a show, and while the ice was melting, strange objects appeared from inside the block of ice. And that was weird, but it was fun. And then my second experience as a festival goer was in Bilbao. And this time I could go for free because a friend of mine lent me his three-day ticket. So that was the best part. And the worst thing was that I couldn't enjoy it as much as I wished because of that terrible weather we have in the Basque country, similar to this one. And besides, I couldn't sleep many hours because our tent was placed in a slope of a, of a hill, so my friend always ended up sleeping over myself. <laughs> and finally, my third concert, my third festival, took place in the north of Portugal and um, we arrived there after 13 hours of bus, another two in train and a wider driving us to the countryside because we were completely lost. And during the first two days it didn't stop raining and oh, we find it difficult to have our clothes dried but after all uh, we had one of the best holidays of our life. So, if you have the chance, I strongly recommend you give it a go because you may not have enough hours of sleep, but it will definitely worth it. <laughs>